Welcome to Jared Scott Outdoors, your source in the field for local outdoor news. This week on Jared Scott Outdoors, we're out to do some sturgeon fishing. Now I've got Michael and his son Dallin and his daughter Maddie. And from what they tell me, they've only fished, what, as many times as you can count on one hand? Yep. So not too many times, Some a little bit of fly fishing up in the mountains, they like to do that sort of thing. But we are after sturgeon, so we have got the big rods. This one's out right now, hopefully getting a few taps. And we're hoping to catch some big ones. Um, you've seen us do this before, and, and sometimes you know we just catch two footers, sometimes we catch seven plus footers. So we're gonna see if we can get these guys who have never really caught any fish on some really big fish. What are you guys hoping for today? Big one. Six foot at least. All right, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, big ones. <laughs> and, uh, and, and hopefully we can do it. But anyways, we've got a great show for you. Let's get after it. If you've seen any of the episodes where we fished for sturgeon, you'll likely see us fighting big fish on big rods with tons of action and smiles. But what you may not know is that for each fish caught, there's usually a lot of dead time, just waiting for a bite. Some days are better than others, but either way, we plan on spending hours just watching poles and hoping for the bite. Now we typically have lots of bites in this particular hole, but over the last few years there's been several small sturgeon planted in the area, and so most bites are actually just small sturgeon that come and go. And so even if you are having a bite, that just means that you hold the pole ready to set it if you get a solid bite. This typically ends with you standing there waiting and waiting for a few more nibbles which don't come. So then you set your pole back down only to see your line getting played with again. So with all the small fish out there, that's actually usually what's playing with our lines. We hope for a big one, but it's usually not the case. Anyhow, that's kind of the game. You try to set the hook on each one because it's hard to tell if you've got a small sturgeon or a big one. That's what happened when I tried to set the hook on one and felt plenty of resistance on the other end. I quickly passed the pull on to Maddie, who took on the fight. Okay, watch out there, watch out there. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Get, yeah, get it tight, get it tight. Is he still on? Hopefully we didn't lose him on that. I know, I'm not feeling it. Keep reeling. If he's coming to you, just real fast. Hopefully he didn't lose him on that. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. He's there? Yep. Boy, he's just taking line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so as soon as he lets up, you're reeling. Maddie, you probably got like 40 minutes of this is all. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> They are, they are so big when they when they want to go, and especially when you feel the tension that's on that drag. Like, it's not like it's easy to take that kind of line out. Yeah. <laughs> All the work you just did. Yeah, he's taking it back down. Yeah, yep. no. <laughs> it'll it'll happen three or four times at least on these bigger ones. Just when you think, you, oh man, he's. He felt really solid. I mean, I passed him off quick, but he felt like pretty a good fish. He looked pretty good, too. Pretty good. So, yeah, now you're real. Real, real, real. Yep. What do you think? <laughs> He's big. After wearing the fish down for some time, or rather being worn down by the sturgeon, Maddie told Dallin it was his turn. She needed a break. Yeah, go keep it tight. Keep that good bend on that the whole time. Wow. While Dallin was busy trying to fight this big sturgeon, we still had a pole that was getting some bites. Michael grabbed that pole and got ready to set it just in go case. Fast, fast, and fast. then another rod was getting some taps. I gave Maddie the camera because I really thought that the sturgeon that Dallin was now fighting was just crossing over the line of the pole I grabbed. But just in case, when I felt a good bite, I set the hook and sure enough, felt another okay. fish on the other end. If this isn't tangled, I got another one on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a switch. I'm coming under you. Okay. All right, Michael, put that one down, take this one. Once I was sure it wasn't just a tangle, I passed the pole over to Michael. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, get that in, keep coming. Dallin. <laughs> Oh, let's hope they don't dangle down there. One oh. goes under, one goes over. <laughs> we now had a double going. It's hard enough to land just one. 
Hopefully we could beat the odds and land them both. Oh, this isn't good. Mike, let me have you come over the top of him. I think that's where we're at, yep. Oh, nope, nope. come back, that didn't work. Nope. There you go. Come, do the opposite, oh, there you are, there you are. Of course, having other lines out in the water was risky as far as tangling a fighting fish, so with two fights going on, we had double the problem. Yeah, tighten up fast, just real, 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 really quick. Oh, they're both in close now. They are. Bad timing here. Yeah, just try to play that game of who's got to go where, and we might be able to get Michael's in first. We'll see if yours is going to probably do another run, I'm guessing, still, Dallin. We'll Wait. see. <laughs> no! no! Oh, we're good. Hold on, hold on. Luckily, the sturgeon Michael was fighting wasn't as big, and he was able to wrestle it in rather quickly. That would at least get rid of my biggest fear of tangled lines. <laughs> no, and those big ones pull, man. Is he taking line? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good, that, that'll give us some time. Okay, you should probably come around. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's our. All right, what do you think, Dallin? Oh, man. <laughs> Just gonna keep it on. So once you get them turned upside down, they're usually kind of docile. How you doing, Dallin? Oh, man, he's still falling. <laughs> All right. All right, Michael, what do you think on that first fish? Very fun. Very fun. I think we can let it go. Okay. There he goes. <laughs> Five footer now on to the next. Are we tired yet or are we good? Oh, he's close. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is a big guy. All right, the hook is coming out. With the big fish officially caught, Dallin wasted no time to get in the water and check this fish out. Yeah, we're gonna call him that a seven footer. That is a great fish for here. All right, Dallin, what do you think of that? That's awesome. Of course, Maddie was a big part of this fight too, so she jumped on in there as well. A fish like this deserves a picture. That, yeah, isn't that cool? He's heavy. <laughs> Ready? All right, I think we can let him go. All right, dude, don't Grab onto his tail, Maddie, and then hold on. Just, just go with him. Oh, <laughs> 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 You kept so dry up until that point. <laughs> he was, I thought he was gonna pull me off a couple of times. He, he was tugging. I thought my arms were gonna fall off. He was a beast. <laughs> that was awesome, though. All right, that was pretty exciting. That was the uh, first time that we've got a double that I've been fishing. We've got a double and landed them both. So kudos to these guys. They kept them tight and got them in. Beautiful fish. There he goes. <laughs> now, he, now he knows he's caught. He didn't know what was going on at first. Dallin was now getting the hang of this and set the hook on a bite while I was tying on another hook. At first it took line, but quickly turned the other way and was coming right in. I don't know, maybe it's... You tell me what's it feel like compared to that last one. That's a lot lighter. Is that my okay. After that last sturgeon that Dallin fought, <laughs> this one didn't seem that big to him. But then it suddenly turned back downstream and started taking line like nobody's oh, business. Oh, man. <laughs> you sure he's a little guy? He doesn't feel nearly the same as the other one. I'm gonna snug this up before he spools us. Realizing it was gonna spool us, so I had to tighten up the drag. He's going. Yeah, he is. Oh. He's not stopping. Okay, I'm, I'm tightening it. We're about out of line. I think you're bigger, I think it's bigger than I thought he was. Sometimes we have fish that do that to us, that they kind of swim at you. Okay, you ready to reel? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> let, me feel, let me feel it for a second. Let me see what it feels like. Now that the sturgeon was stopped, I asked to feel the rod and get an idea of its size. That's when I realized this was another big one. Probably at least another seven foot kind of fish. Now it was Michael's turn to fight a big one. You want to take this one, Michael? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give you some of that. Go for 
Keep it tight. Yeah, that's amazing. What's yours that you fought that that five footer? What's oh, the man. comparison? Now he's pulling. No! Oh, get no. get tight just in case, or is it gone? Done. Oh shoot! Done. He was pulling hard. <laughs> Dang it! He was pulling. Holy cow! You no, know, that was that was a good fish. That was a big one. So we lost that one. Probably my fault on that. He was about ready to spool us, and so I was tightening the drag, tightening it because it was getting too close to the end, and, and I didn't realize I'd tightened it up as much as I did. I should have backed it off a little. So when he gave another really hard pull, it looked like it pulled it right out of his lip, probably. So the one that got away. That's right. He was yeah, we're ten, blaming Jared. Ten feet at least. It, it had to have been fault. ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> but the the day is early. This is this has been a really good start to the day. So we'll hope that we can keep this up. With a few lines now out of the water, we rebaited them with fish, and Maddie volunteered to take the lines out this time. Of course, you can cast them out, but I've found that using a kayak or something similar makes it easy to drop the line right where we want them, and typically further out than I can cast. Michael set the hook on one that at first seemed like a miss, but soon realized that he had one on. Reeling it in, he found what would be one of several we'd catch of the little two to three footers that have been planted in recent years. With this big gear, however, they don't put up much of a fight. We caught another small one, and then Dallin hooked another that was over four feet. I'm going to skip over that catch, however, as we're running out of time, and I want to make sure to show you a more interesting hook set. I don't know if interesting is the right word, but it sure gave us a good laugh. Oh, not as big as the other one, but still pretty sweet. Fish on! <laughs> and as you can see, this isn't quite conventional. This um, is the latest style of fishing. It's going to be all the range. Yeah. So Michael holds the pole. We, we don't even use the reel. And I just pull it in while Dallin is taking the extra line up past the truck and wherever he can make it. So what's going on here? Well, we dropped this out and just trying to get it set, uh, a gear got messed up and so it's not reeling in correctly and just tangling. And so as I was trying to figure it out and work on it, of course, this one gets hit. So we've got a fish, I, I thought maybe he's just one of those little two footers. We can just get him in real quick like this. Yeah, he came out of the water. He's, he's like one of those four to five. <laughs> So, a foot at a time, we are going to be pulling him in, hoping he doesn't cut my finger off if he gives a hearty yank. Is this how the Flintstones feel? <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> we were actually quite lucky that this particular sturgeon hadn't made any runs. Yet. It would be so easy for me to lose He's a finger if I grabbed the line wrong and it gave a hard tug. So I was trying to be as careful as I could, but still make progress with this line. Still going? Oh, Go ahead and take some more line. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good fish for this style. <laughs> when one minute bigger. With all the teamwork, I was surprised that we were able to actually get this sturgeon all the way in. Wow. All right, so hold that. I'm just gonna tie that off. All right. <laughs> we landed this fish. I've had a lot of firsts today, <laughs> and that was a first. So, probably a four, four and a half footer there. Now we can work on fixing this reel. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> that took a, that was a lot of teamwork there to make that one happen. I, I now know why they created the reel. Yeah. <laughs> well, we still caught a few more fish, some small ones, and another five footer. Maddie, Dallin, and Michael all set hooks and landed fish on their own. Overall, this was a great day of fall fishing. All right, another excellent catch. Turn this guy over and we'll let him go. Well, it is now getting dark, the sun is set. We've just got a few minutes left of light, so we're going and packing everything up. We're leaving the rods out for one more minute, just in case, but it is time to wrap this up. So, tell me what you guys thought about today's trip. It was sweet, it was lots of fun. Getting out on the water, catching some fish, pretty sweet. Pretty good fish too. So, so what do you think about that, Maddie? The the big one. That that was awesome too. They were so cool. 
I mean, you know, that biggest one is bigger than any of us. Barely bigger than these guys. They're kind of tall, but, <laughs> but uh, anyways. Michael, what do you think? Better give you a chance here. Well, no, just a ton of fun. I think, what, our shortest was about 30 inches, we think? Yeah. And then largest is about seven feet, so. Good range, good range. Great day. <laughs> I mean, that was a ton of fun. Never cut anything that large, not even close. So, um, good workout. Yeah. So I got my workout yep. in for the day as well. So, <laughs> thank you for bringing us. You bet. Yeah, Absolutely it worked fun. out. It worked out really well. A lot, just a big variety of what we caught today, fish wise, and it, and it was a beautiful day. It's supposed to get really cold. Um, I've, this is only the second time that I've tried a November sturgeon fishing trip, and it was phenomenal. So uh, we just happened to hit it just right. We had a great time. If this is something you guys want to do, you know they're all over the Snake River. You just got to start learning how to do it and get out there and do it for yourself. That's Tune in next week at the same time for another episode of Jared's Cut Outdoors.